when you get to that point i call it the dark times you get the point where there'll be a day that maybe something will happen and you won't recognize yourself welcome to the channel how are you guys doing thank you so much for coming on today i was trying to figure out where to stay when recording um this video i am actually in my bathroom <laughs> just because i didn't feel like setting up the lighting and i thought this lighting would be good so hopefully this lighting is good but if it's not good maybe i can switch over to somewhere else what do you guys think okay so today let me stop my rambling i'm talking about what i wish i knew before i got married i hate with a passion i hate doing this kind of videos because um <laughs> no marriage is perfect because marriage is always evolving relationships are always evolving things are always changing so you never know when something's going to change and you'll be like oh let's add that to the list and i'm not a marriage expert i'm not a relationship expert and i laugh whenever i hear people saying oh they're relationship experts and i'm just like Ugh. and some of them they're not in a relationship and i'm like really so but whatever so some of the things i wish i knew or I did before I got married was I wish I lived on my own without like trying to know myself you get what I'm saying so it's not as if I didn't live on my own I lived on my own before I got married but I was usually in a relationship so I wish I kind of knew myself like evolved like grew myself so I always wish that that was something I did before I got married, kind of understood more about myself, more about what I really want, okay? So another thing that I wish I knew before I got married was, I wish I was more of, I was strong. Let me explain it to you. I wish I was not a people pleaser and I'll explain, yes. So I was, I'm one of those people that growing up, I just never liked to, bother people never like to make people upset so whenever like if my parents said something i go by it i don't challenge people i don't rock the boat i don't cause argument i don't start i don't say why 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 so like my children right now you tell them something like okay why why do you think why should i do this why i, will, I never ask question i was that girl that everybody would like that do this yes yes ma'am yes ma'am yes sir <laughs> so i wish i had the strength or i wish i had more of a passion to just revolt is it revolt like kind of say no i wish i could just say no i wish i was more of stronger in that aspect not always afraid to disappoint people yeah i wish i was someone that i could just disappoint people and not let it bother me you know there are some people that they could care less you know you like it or not you take me as i am so that's something else i wish i did before i got married um so another thing that I wish that I did or I knew before marriage was that marriage is not a bed of roses. <laughs> um, marriage is not something that you and your husband, you're going to decide one thing and it's always going to be the same thing. I wish I knew that marriage is always evolving. Okay, so earlier on in my marriage, I will tell my husband or we'll have discussion. I will say, oh, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. And I'll keep that like okay this is it to never change and then when that expectation changes i feel so distorted i feel it affects me so i wish i knew that you know what sometimes don't overemphasize that this is the way it will be and this is the way it will always be because let me tell you something marriage always changes as you get older you are learning new things about yourself you are learning new things about that spouse you are growing intellectually emotionally um, psychologically everything and your spouse also is growing in that manner so why would everything from day one still remain in day five, year five or year ten so I've been married for 20 years now plus 20 and a half years now and um, a lot of things have happened during a marriage and to the glory of God a lot of things that have happened have strengthened us have strengthened our relationship so I thank God for that. I thank God for how understanding my husband is and how understanding I am also. One more thing that I think I should have known 
is also before I got married or even during marriage is I needed to put myself first. I didn't learn that earlier on in marriage. And even my husband would encourage me, put yourself first. But I always felt as if it was a bad thing. It was a selfish thing for me to put myself first. So I will put my husband first. I'll put my children first before my own needs. Like if I was didn't want to do something or if I wasn't fit or I wasn't well, I will still struggle up to the point that one of my friends will call me. She knows herself. She'll be like, superwoman, superwoman. And I was weak. I was not a superwoman, but I just always felt like I had to put the needs of people first. And that affected me in my relationship with other people because a lot of people took advantage of me in terms of friendship. They will take, 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 and I'll give, give, give. I was just giving. But I wasn't replenishing. You can do something where you're just giving, 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 but you're not reflect, you're not replenishing what you've given out. So I wish I knew that you shall you need to take time out and just replenish what you are giving out. One of the things that I wish I knew before I got married, or even earlier on in my marriage, is I and my husband, we need to date each other. We need to even while married. I, I didn't think about it until later on. Now we do that, okay? Until later on in marriage, we're dating each other, we're doing stuff like that. My, my, I can't believe this has been like that. So, so um, we're dating each other, we're doing things together, we're doing all this stuff together, and we're even more in love now after 20 years versus when we were just when we got married. So I wish that... I had started that and I didn't put, like, I always put my children first. Even sometimes I'll put my children before my husband. And it got to a point one time that my husband actually made a comment one day that really touched me. And I was like, oh, I didn't even realize what I was doing. So as a wife, as a mother, as whatever, you feel torn, right? I felt so torn between my children's needs, my husband's needs. So my own needs went in the back burner, going back to the last point that I said. So that's one thing that I wish, and this video, I'm, why am I even doing this video? I'm doing this video for my girls. I have girls and I, there's much more advanced than I was at their age in terms of relationship. At their age, I didn't even know anything. <laughs> so um, one other thing that I wish I knew before I got married, there's so many things. And I'm telling you, I didn't write all this down. I wish I had written it down, but I just, the spirit just told me to just come on camera and talk about this. So one other thing that I wish I knew before getting married is, <sighs> this one is a tough one. You're gonna have some dark moments. And those dark moments, if you don't dig down and not let it affect you so badly you can either let those dark moments overwhelm you or you can let yourself overwhelm those dark moments so sometimes in marriage you will get everybody will get there you get to a point no matter how much in love you are with your spouse no matter how much you're like oh you know we're all whatever you get to some point and when you get to that point, I call it the dark times. You get the point where there'll be a day that maybe something will happen and you won't recognize yourself. So um, during my marriage one time, I had an out of body experience where something happened and it drastically affected me. And it was as if I was standing like this in the corner and I was watching myself and I didn't recognize myself. So if not for the grace of God, if not for me just live in the house it will be a different story now so i want you to realize that in marriage things are gonna happen marriage is a beautiful thing things are gonna happen but you have to find a way not to let the things affect you now if something affects you in marriage and you cannot it's either you do something bad or you just let the marriage go choose the other one I'm not against divorce. Some people say, oh, God, a divorce. Get, I'm not. If things are not working well, get out. <laughs> I'm telling you, get out. So I thank God because going through that moment actually helped me see another part of myself that I didn't know. I didn't know I had it in myself that is that dark part in you. Everybody has that dark part. And it's only the grace of God that is making you shh, quite that dark part because if 
that dark part comes to life it's gonna end everything it's gonna break a beautiful thing so I thank God that I was able to overcome that and I thank God that I went through that period because it made me understand myself better so one last thing about marriage that I wish I really wish I knew was that one day your spouse is going to do something that you before you are married you'll be like oh no there's no way i can handle that there's no way i can take that and he's gonna do something and you'll be like Psh, what's the big deal <laughs> so yeah so there's some women that i'll just my husband will just do something and i'll just look at him like what is this but i remember when we first got married he will do the same thing and i'll be like oh, seriously now why are you doing this and he'll be like oh sorry sorry <laughs> so you'll have those moments where you'll be like ah is it is it me that I'm tolerating? You know those moments that you're like, is it me that I'm tolerating this? But yeah, but overall, marriage is a wonderful thing. We're still learning. You can never stop learning in marriage. You can never stop growing. So with that being said, if you have ever had an experience, comment below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, I'm going to try and put more out there because I do have a lot to say, but I'm always so careful. I'm always... Um, I have a discretion because I don't want to say things that will affect my kids and stuff, you know, yada yada yada. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.